And hello, I'm uh, sitting here with uh, Mrs. Womble, and we've recently completed some work at her house, and I thought uh, we'd just have her tell us about the experience. Mrs. Womble, uh, what was the situation before John Wayne came to call? Uh, well, we had a new uh, system installed by another company in our house, which is quite old, built in the 30s, and uh, it never worked right. It didn't cool. It uh, we didn't have a chance to use the heat, but um, uh, we didn't know exactly what was wrong. The previous company had come out several times. Each time they came out, they assured us that it was all fixed. Mm -hmm. Although they started off replacing the system, and the first time they came out uh, because it wasn't cooling, they said it was because we needed new ductwork, which we thought we should have been informed of right. at the time. Well, but the first thing, they, they put in a unit and, and then they said that you also needed ductwork. Right, about a month later they oh. said we needed new ductwork, okay. which we did. We, we had new ductwork done. It still, mm -hmm. didn't, it still didn't help and uh, we don't know anything about air conditioning but we, we felt like there were things wrong. Mm -hmm. So um, it, the system just wasn't at it. After a certain amount of time, it wasn't working. You gave them an opportunity to fix it, and they couldn't fix it or didn't fix it? Uh, yes, they didn't fix it. I'm not sure whether they could or they couldn't, but right. they, they didn't. And um, uh, they, the, the owner only got involved when we, you know, got got assertive and told them, come get the system, take it out, we want our money back. Mm -hmm. And that was months later. Well, when John Wayne got involved, how, what made you call John Wayne? Uh, well, it was actually a referral. Uh, we knew a gentleman that knew Mr. Mooney mm -hmm. that was with John Wayne. And so we called Mr. Mooney on his recommendation to ask him if he could come out and tell us uh, what exactly was wrong. The unit was in the attic and it was very cramped up there and, and, and you know, we couldn't tell totally by looking that what exactly was wrong. So we asked him to come and he came out with you. August. August. <laughs> and uh, and y'all took a look around and found several, well, maybe several isn't the right word many many things <laughs> wrong just from you know casually observing right the equipment so we made up a list of things that were wrong um, you had an inspector come out what did the inspector find uh, yes they they uh, the previous company called and said we needed a uh, final inspection on the because they pulled a permit and the inspector came out he went upstairs, he went into the attic, and he came down and I asked him how it looked and he said, not good. Mm. Uh, he, he gave us a nice red tag. Um, it was full, the comment section was full. He said that he wrote as much as he could, but, but by no means all of the mistakes were on there. Okay, um, and then, um, um, the owner of the John Wayne, Don Rackler, he came by to take a look. What happened there? Uh, well, he came by and uh, was just wonderful and um, started walking around. We started, it was, the, it was uh, Don Rackler, myself, my husband, August, uh, walking around and, and really, you know, in a house this age, it, it, the equipment should have never been put in the attic to begin with, but when it was, it was much smaller. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he started walking around and we started talking about alternatives to the attic. And, um, you know, he came up with a great plan and, um, and then he just stayed involved. He mm -hmm. stayed involved all along the way, even to the extent of helping us get our money back from the previous company. So he was just terrific, well, as was August. <laughs> August went above and beyond. They're going to have to edit all that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> well, uh, 
As far as the new system goes, how is the new system? It's it's, it's great. It's fantastic. It's working really well. There's there's uh, not air conditioning or heating leaking into the attic and, and keeping it nice and cool up there or toasty warm up there. Mm -hmm. It's all in the house. Um, it's just, you know, we didn't have to do structural damage to the house. It was just... Mm -hmm. really worked out wonderfully. And why did you mention the structural damage? Because most people, when they think of air conditioning, they don't think of structural, structural damage to the house. You mentioned that because... Because uh, the previous company that we used, um, for some reason, notched the rafters in our attic mm -hmm. when they installed the equipment, and... Uh, the roof was already starting to sag yeah. from from those rafters being notched. I mean, several things they did were really a a a, a safety hazard, a life and safety right. hazard. Well, I didn't mean for you to get into too much of that, but I just wanted to point that out because that's something that would probably, uh, it's not the usual thing that happens, structural damage when they install. Right. So... But um, what about recommending John Wayne? Would you oh, recommend? I would recommend John Wayne to anybody. And I will never put air conditioning or heating or replace it or repair it with anybody else. Ever in the area that John Wayne works, mm -hmm. I will always use John Wayne. Thank you very much. I appreciate that.